Vaughn, obviously with the news of Nate's contract, just what has he meant for you in your career and how happy are you to see him kind of staying here? Um, that's, that's big time, definitely. Uh, coach has meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, he took a chance on me when I decided to transfer. And, um, you know, it's been it's been a pleasure playing, playing under him and learning um, how he runs his program and things of that nature, and I'm happy for him. When Noah came up, Noah Gurley, we talked to him about just kind of stepping up as a leader these last three or so weeks after you guys went through a tough time. Just how have you found yourself kind of being there for the younger guys and also just being an example for them in this kind of difficult time? Um, you know, just bringing it every day. Um, you know, it's easy to, to lose focus with everything that's, that's transpired the last two weeks. So just trying to um, lead by example and, um, you know, if, also talking, you know, just having conversations with my teammates and, you know, just being there for each other, you know, little things like that, I feel like. You talked about getting to play under Oates and kind of learn from him. I guess really you're the guy that's been under him the longest here at Alabama. Just why, what makes him so special? We see the results on the court, but maybe off the court that he's the guy that Alabama's invested in to be the long-term coach. I think it's the confidence that he instills in you. Um, you know, obviously, if you play basketball, you need to be confident in yourself. But it's it's a, it's another thing when you know that that guy who's who's running things, you know, instills the same type of confidence in you that you have in yourself. And I think th that's one of the biggest things. That's why he, he kind of gets the best out of out of his guys. Um, and you know, that's why you see guys shoot the ball so well sometimes. Um, you know, guys are very confident. You know, he he's he's big on that. So. Put together like four games, four really solid games in a row. Are you feeling more yourself now coming off of that injury? Is it, is it something clicked for you this year? Um, I still feel like it's another level I could get to. Um, just trying to be uh, as patient as I can with myself. And um, but you know, it's, it's it's coming along. You guys can see it, but I still feel like it's another level I could get to. Two questions. The first question being, going against LSU, obviously you guys had a big win against them the first time. What was the message, at least from the players, in terms of staying focused and making sure you continue the, the discipline and momentum y'all had? Um, definitely around this time of the season, you start seeing teams twice. Um, that second time, you know, we just, we have a huge, we know we're very aware of the target on our back. Um, and, you know, we can't, we can't, take our foot off the gas, you know, at this time, this time of the season. And, you know, going there after a big win, you know, it could be a, a, a trap game. But um, I just I think we're very aware of uh, what's at stake. So. so and then with Don Welch, obviously he's doing other things well on the court, but the shooting just hasn't come along yet. Just what are you kind of seeing from practice? And have you like tried talking to him as a leader? What do you what are you kind of seeing from him in terms of trying to get his mid rhythm back as he working back from injury? He, could sh he shoots the hell out the ball, especially in practice. So we know it's going to come. Um, you know, I'm just making sure he doesn't lose confidence in himself. Um, things like that, you know, from the guys, just making sure that, you know, guys, because we watch him every day, his shots in practice. So we see it every day. But you guys on the outside don't really see it. So we just trying to make sure he keeps his confidence up and he's going to start making shots soon. One of the things that's kind of marked y'all's hot play the last four or five weeks has been cutting the turnovers down. Even against Oklahoma, there's only 13, which isn't a huge number. Just how big a role uh, has cutting the turnovers down played for the team and, and, and for you as well with your play? I mean, nobody wants to turn the ball over. So, um, you know, it's just Coach harps on it every, every day, uh, making sure, you know, we take care of the ball and, things of that nature, but um, it's definitely big going into March, I feel like, not, not turning the ball over.